Good morning and welcome to the Connections pre-show. My name is Layla. And I am Andy. And we are so thankful that you are joining us today. Good morning and happy Sunday. Good morning and happy Sunday as well. It is so nice out oh here my in gosh. Michigan today. Perfect yes. weather. I just the last wish few days have been amazing. I wish that's the rest of the I know. year. What makes it bittersweet is that we all know it's What's not going to yeah. stay. <laughs> this, this could stay until Christmas Day, snow, Yes. then go back to this. I would be... I would be totally open to that. Me too. But that's not what's going to happen. Nope, unfortunately not. We know what's happened. The re- the reality of living here my whole life is yep. it's going to be nice, and then winter is coming. Winter <laughs> is coming. I feel like we always say that in the pre-show. I We're think like, we do. Hi, good morning. Hey, good morning. Winter's coming. Guess what? Winter's coming, guys. <laughs> like even in like July. Like, yeah, but it's not going to last forever because winter's coming. We're obviously super <laughs> you know grumpy about We're it. We're not going to talk about it for the rest of the year until next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Winter's when we're like, snowing. guess what? Winter's here. <laughs> Gosh, they picked the like, most perkiest people to be on the I pre-show. Know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was your week this week? Actually, sorry, I've been slacking on my duties. Before oh, yes. we get started, we want to direct you all to our QR code. That is our digital connect card. Mm-hmm. Whether, Like we say every week, whether you're first time, long time, we would love to hear from you. If you have questions about church, about where you can possibly help out, things like that, if you're feeling about it, you can go ahead and click that and yes. fill it out, and somebody will get back to you. That's right. So, okay. sorry about that. Now how, we can how was your week? You, you mentioned there's a story you have to tell. Yes, I have such a good story. Okay, well, I can't wait to hear it. Okay. It's wait, is this, like, su- is this like one of your such a good jokes you have to tell? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, get prepared. <laughs> right. um, I just think it's crazy. Um, so, on Friday, okay. we went to visit our in laws, and um, there was this cat that was just kind of like a stray roaming cat around? roaming around at Tony's parents' house. Okay. And it was like a crazy cat. I was like, rawr, 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 rawr. like, like Super loud. You, you like, could look at it until it was a crazy cat, one well, of those cats? I mean, it just wouldn't stop meowing. And oh. then it started, like, climbing up my mother-in-law's um, screen oh, door. Wow. And, yeah, it, like, really wanted some love. And it wanted Attention. to come in. Yeah. Okay. Then it went away. And it was, like, 1030. We had, we had a nice, like, dinner and a fire. We drove home. And we all came into the house. No. And we shut our garage door, like, and we're inside the house. And all of a sudden, Tony and I start hearing meowing. And then like we, that we, same crazy meowing? Yeah. Um, and Tony was like, oh, it must just be our cat, Charlotte, right? So he goes to open the garage to let her in. And he was like, uh, this is the cat from my parents' house. Did it still away in your guys' car? Yes. I don't know how it drove up there with us, but it was not inside, right? Because this cat wouldn't yeah. stop meowing. So it must have been like in the hood or something, like yeah, under the hood. Possible. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. Maybe down in the like, you yeah. know, suspension parts. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. So you have a new cat? Um, so it's really sick. Uh, it's like really snotty. So we, we have it in the big dog crate and it's starting to eat. You okay. know, it's kind of hard because there's nowhere, there's nothing open on the weekends right, yeah, to it's try kinda... to get it some help. But yeah, I'm going to try to take it to the vet on Monday. Okay. We're going to post it on Facebook in case it's somebody's cat. I can't believe it came home with you. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> I, uh, we called Tony's mom. You're just such mom. a welcoming presence. They're like, that cat's like, I got to go home with her. <laughs> we called Tony's mom and I was like, we're not coming over again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, we keep bringing animals home with us. <laughs> like, Have you ever brought anything else home from their house? Um, food? I don't know. <laughs> Joy? <laughs> Full bellies? <laughs> all right. Well, those are all great things. So and you yeah. know what? Cats can be great things, but if yeah. you already have too many. We've been talking about getting another cat anyways. You have? Yeah, because... Just to add add to the zoo? Well, we like them to be like outside and get sure. all the field mice and yep. things like that. So, okay. um, yeah, it's, it's a very nice cat. It's just crazy. I that don't know weird. how I survived that. Like, I didn't know I like pets. Like a whole cats ride there. Like that. how yeah. how like how long? Is, it's what? Like forty minutes. Yeah, drive. that's a long drive. We're not talking like yeah. right up the road. And, and it was nothing's like nothing's wrong. Like there's no like injuries on the cat or anything. He's just he or she. We don't even know the female like the gender of it yet. But oh, okay. um, yeah, it's just sick. That's it. Oh well, so crazy. That's crazy. We're if we keep it and it's a it's a male kitty, we're gonna call it Evil Knievel. <laughs> I would, yeah, that's perfect. Cause we'll how have to come me? up with a good female name, though. Yeah, we will. Like Miss Marvel Ooh, m- Maybe or that something. can be a youth group, or uh, not, sorry, maybe it can be a small group thing. Oh, yeah. We can name your new cat. Name the cat. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my crazy story. How was oh, your week? Uh, not nearly that crazy. It was pretty normal <laughs> up until <laughs> there was just a lot of yarn at our house. Oh, yes. I know. There was also yarn at my house, thanks to oh, yeah. your wife. Oh, yeah. Charlie was making some pom-poms, right? <laughs> yes, she was. She was talking about how she needed more yarn. And I was like, oh, oh you can talk to Angie about that. <laughs> I think I heard somebody yesterday because Angie got a lot of this. So if you're, all right, you guys, there was a uh, women's <laughs> event yesterday, yes. which was like a craft followed by uh, karaoke, karaoke and some yeah. and fun and dinner. Yeah. So, but 
uh, the craft was yarn, and you made like pom poms, and they put the pom poms together in a bunch of different like con- configurations. Yes. Um, <laughs> we had donated like people donated yarn. And we had literally garbage bags of yarn at our house. And I overheard somebody saying they picked up some yarn and there was like a stick or something from like 1980 on wow. there. Wow. So okay. that's some, some like classic yarn. I'm just like envisioning Angie as she gets older with like all this yarn as an old lady. Oh, we're getting rid of the yarn. I'm not keeping it. I said, we don't have a cat. You're not a crazy, crazy cat lady. <laughs> and we don't have nearly enough for this yarn. No. So uh, the yarn will be used again for something, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I hope the event went really well yesterday. I don't uh, know. From what I heard, it went well. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We have some awesome news coming up because in a couple weeks, something big's happening here at church. Yes. We were talking about it for a while. We were hinting at it for a bit. We all know what's happening when we're here. Mm-hmm. We're kind of bursting at the seams, which is never a bad thing to happen. <laughs> um, only when it's my pants. <laughs> when I'm bursting at my pants, I'm like, oh, thing. no. Like, mm, I, I had one too many cookies again, <laughs> <laughs> which are my, my like, snack of choice. Cookies oh. and milk. Get yeah. out of it. You know, shut, shut the front door. It's ice cream for me. Oh, well, ice cream's number two. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some new church times coming up starting November 6th. Mm-hmm. November 6th. Church times will be 820, 940, and 11 o'clock. Or 1160 if you look at the shirts and the <laughs> hoodies that we have. 1160. 1160. So <laughs> do not show up at noon. Show up at 11. Um <laughs> The pre-show is going to happen during the 940 service. You can look yes. for us and our smiley faces a little bit earlier. So we're going to have to get up earlier so we can be yeah. as jovial and not complain about winter coming. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, so you can join us starting at 925. And if you're looking at the video right now, you might have just seen 20, 40, 60. Yes. That's to remind us of the not-so-normal times, but I love yes. being part of a not-so-normal church. Yes. The, the 20, 40, 60 has helped me. Yeah. A lot. I don't know who came up with the little I think it's Steve, like, but I don't want to give all the credit to yeah. Steve, but I'm pretty sure yeah, it's Steve. Yeah, probably. He's the brains of the church. He's the brains of the operation. <laughs> Not of the church. That's Dave. Oh, right. The two of them are both brains. You know what? We have four brains. Five brains now. <laughs> why don't they use our brains? I know why. Because they <laughs> people watch this every week. They're like, we don't need Andy's brain. Layla's brain would help. But Andy, no. No. So, do you have a little joke for us or something fun to... I do have a joke just to get us into the Halloween spirit, Halloween which is spirit. right around the corner. Mm-hmm. All right. What do ghosts wear when their eyesight gets blurry? Spooktacles. Oh. <laughs> oh. Spooktacles. Are you like... <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> He's like, do I even want to laugh? <laughs> I, like, I, like, okay. I like laughing at your stuff. <laughs> When they're funny. Oh, solid sorry, humor, I couldn't, Andy. Sorry, I couldn't see the humor in that <laughs> joke. <laughs> I guess I need some spook tickles. Yes, you do. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, we have a pretty cool event coming up here, a trunk or treat. Usually I'm not the biggest fan. I'm going to be honest here. I'm laying it all on Front Street. I'm not the biggest fan of trunk or treats, but when it's done the weekend of Halloween... I'm all for it. All right. So we're it's going to now. have that coming. When is that coming? Since I talked about the new church services, yes. why don't you tell us about Trunk or Treat? That is coming October 30th, and it will be here at Connections. Yep. I still don't know the exact time, so I hope somebody is posting the, yes. the time. I'm sure you can check on our media. social medias. Yep. Um, so we are still looking for folks who want to be a trunk. I can't say it any other way. I don't know. You besides have to. how it's written down, because yep. I'm like, yeah, be a trunk. Be a trunk. Um, <laughs> if you want to be a trunk, um, <laughs> if you want to decorate a trunk to participate in this event, please let us know by clicking on the event style in our church app so that you can formally register for that. Yep. We are also still looking for donations of candy or any other items that you want to bring. I won't get started on that because you know me, I'm like, only candy, not fruit snacks, not anything healthy. We only like the... No, fruit the, snacks are fine. I Especially I, the I Mott's fruit snacks. I always felt robbed as a kid when I was like, oh, fruit snacks. What about I, Gushers? Uh, Gushers don't really count. This is a different debate. Okay, yeah, um, we'll have that debate next week. We do so want to yes. hear your guys' theory on what's your favorite Halloween candy. Yes, we do. I, mine's Reese's. The Reese's filled anything. Mine's Reese's. Yes, absolutely. And Reese's Pieces, because I can't say Reese's Pieces because it's not right. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't name it Reese's Pieces. I don't know either. I guess that's why I'm not in charge of naming things. Yes, must be. But yes, Trunk or Treat, October 30th. It'll be fun for the whole family. Mm-hmm. We want to fill our parking lot with as many trunks as possible. Yes. And there may even be a hot air balloon. Oh, not yes. Not for rides, but for fun and just yes. watching the flame shoot up. That could be pretty amazing. That's going to be really exciting. Yes, it is. So I don't know if we're sending it over to anybody for an interview or not. We weren't told or not. Sometimes we have to fly by the seat of our pants here. 
Yes. So <laughs> if we have somebody, we're going to turn it over to them right now. And if not, we're going to keep talking. We're going to so, look really silly. <laughs> we're going to look really silly right now. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to church. I'm Elizabeth, and as you can tell in just a minute when we go over there, we are bursting at the seams here at Connections, which is why we are adding three services on Sunday starting November 6th. And as a reminder, those are 8, 20, 9, 40, and 11. And we're gonna go ask some people what their favorite part of Connections is, okay? Let's go. Alrighty, hey, I have a question for you. What is your favorite thing about connections? The people. The people. people. Yeah. yeah. I feel Super the friendly, same. Talk to the congregate. We come early just to talk to people. Aww. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. All righty, let's go find someone else. All righty. I have a question for you. What is your favorite thing about connections? The fellowship, the friendship. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yep. Yeah. And it I like the idea that they stay connected. I mean, every week I get a I get an email, and that's that's cool. I really like that. Yeah. That's neat. Sweet. All righty. Let's go over here. I have a question for you. Yes, what great. is your favorite part about Connections Community Church? Getting to be connected with others and lay, leading them to the Lord. I love that. All righty. Let's find someone else. All right. I have a question for you three. Oh, hello. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Connections? Uh, the fact that it is so, um, it's a church where you connect. Yeah. What about you? Dave's messages. Love them. Yeah. All righty. Those are some pretty good answers. All righty. Let's find someone else. Yeah. All right. Stacy. Yay. Hello. We love Stacy. Stacy, what is your favorite thing about Connections? Ooh, my favorite thing about Connections. It's a tough. I'm going to say, oh, goodness, that is a tough. How can I pick? Say everything. Everything. Absolutely everything. The worship team. The coffee is very good. The people are amazing. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. All the above. All the above. I love that answer. Yes. Alrighty, let's go find someone else. Let's go over here. Okay, we're going. We're going to Tony. Tony, what is your favorite thing about connections? My favorite, ah, oh, the people. The people. people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, people like you, Elizabeth. Aw, yeah. Tony. Alrighty, that was some of our church family's favorite thing about connections. Comment below what your favorite thing about connections is, and we're sending it back to you, Layla and Andy. Thank Aww, you, Elizabeth. That was so Aww. fun. That was great. Everybody took my answer because the people are one of my favorite things. Yeah. My answers were, were taken, too. The people, I love Pastor Dave's messages. I'm not going to give him credit. You know, but one thing I'm a little surprised by, nobody said the pre-show. I'm not surprised by that at all. Why? <laughs> because, they're all, because they're all watching it later on in the week, so it yeah, doesn't feel like it's yeah. a part. No. Yeah. Maybe next time we'll be maybe in the time. answers. And that's, that's maybe us just fishing for a compliment. <laughs> maybe. Hey, Andy, you want to know what my favorite thing about Connection is? What? You and the pre-show. Oh, hey. Layla, guess what my favorite oh, thing what? is? What? Me and the pre-show. Oh. Oh. I agree. No, it's <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this place would not happen without the people. Mm -hmm. And tonight we have a very special way of celebrating all the people that help volunteer around here. Yes. Um, tonight at 7 o'clock, we are going to be having a... Volunteer appreciation dinner. I want to make sure yes. I got it right because I didn't. Don't, don't, I just want. To, I just don't want to say dinner. Yes. Because we're appreciating all of the time and effort that people donate to connections to make Absolutely. church happen every single yep. Sunday. Yes. And with coming up to having three services, we're going to need even more people. That's right. So, but tonight, doors open at six forty-five. Dinner will be catered in, mm. and. This is for all of our, as I said, amazing volunteers. volunteers. It's a way to show appreciation, but also possibly vision cast what's going to happen with yes. all these new services coming up and the need for more people. Appreciation and motivation. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. All the shuns. <laughs> shuns. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's great to have a church that recognizes the people Absolutely. that help make it work, but also yep. set aside time to properly, you know, just... Love on them because yes. that's what that's what people are here for. We yep. we call it a church family for a reason. Mm -hmm. So couldn't agree yeah. more. Couldn't agree more. Boy, this has been a wonderful morning. Yes. We all know that the pre-show is the best part of the service, uh, followed duh. by the people. Lastly, Dave's messages. <laughs> but we also have an amazing worship band, and they're going to rock 
our socks off. So I can't Ooh. wait for that this morning. So hope you have an awesome week. We're turning over our church. Bye, guys. Bye.